everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Booktopia, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a, gonna be a huge unhaul of about at least 157 books that I decided not to keep in my collection. And yes, I know that's a big number. It used to be 167. However, I did give away some already to my upstairs neighbor, so... We got 157 books right here next to me we're going to dive into. So there's going to be some that have been given to me that I decided that I'm not interested in reading after all. Some I won in giveaways and some of them have been signed by the author and just a mix of different things. So let's start with the first few. First one is called On Dublin Street by Samantha Young. I don't remember where I got this one. Might have been a giveaway, possibly. I think it might have been. However, this one is not signed, but I do remember winning this, so I believe that's where that one came from. Then the next one we got is Thursdays at 8 by Debbie McComer. This was given to me by a friend that I've read quite a few of her books before. I loved her Cedar Cove series. However, I decided I'm not as interested in this one. So I'm getting rid of that one. And then the next one I have is Hidden Impact by Piper J. Drake. And I won this in the giveaway as well. However, I don't think I'm ever gonna read it. So I am giving that one away. And then the next one I've got is The Mister by E.L. James. Now, I know she's a hot topic. She wrote the Fifty Shades of Grey series, which I did enjoy, even though it's not the best depiction of the BDSM scene. However, I decided to give this one a shot, and I started it, and I ended up DNFing it. I did not enjoy it like I thought I would. I'm never going to read it after DNFing it, and it's just not what I'm interested in. So this will be given away. Alright, this next one is After by Anna Todd. I did read this, did really enjoy it, so I ended up buying the box series and get every single book in the series, including this one. So I don't need two copies of it, so I'm giving this copy away. The next one is called Night's Rescue by Shelly Justice. I won this in a giveaway, and I think it's number two in a series. And usually if I don't have a first one, I'm not going to read the second without reading the first. So, And she also signed it and personalized it to me. However, if I'm not going to read it, I might as well give it to somebody who will. So hopefully this will find a home with another Amanda. And then next is called Precarious by A.D. Justice. It says warning part one. I decided after reading the synopsis, I have decided not to keep this. And I believe I won this in a giveaway as well. I did and it even is signed by the author and personalized. So that will go to another Amanda as well. And then the next one I have is called 180 by, by Marie James. And I have decided after winning this one that, however, I am not going to end up reading it. So I'm going to give it away to somebody who will. Also signed by the author and personalized to Amanda. So hopefully another Amanda will get some enjoyment out of this one. And then the next one is called Home Game by Lisa Suzanne. It's a sports romance. And I did win this in the giveaway. However, I'm not super interested. So that's also being given away or unhauled to somebody else. Also signed by the author and personalized to Amanda. So another Amanda, hopefully we'll get some enjoyment. And then the next one was given to me by my friend Melissa. However, it's really, really old and much as I like old stuff, I'm probably never going to actually read it. It's called The Happy Hollisters and the Mystery at Mistletown. 
and if you can tell by the cover it is extremely old <laughs> probably from like the 50s is my guess so this will also be given away right, so the next one is actually an arc copy that i won and i think it's yep it's also signed by the author as well it's called overture by sky warren um so i'm Obviously, it says not for resale, so I'm not actually selling it. I'm just going to hand it off to maybe the library or somewhere else that will enjoy it. And it is signed by the author. So I'm going to let somebody else have enjoyment out of this one. I've already read it, so I don't really, I'm not interested in keeping it and rereading it. So that will be given away. Oh, and we got Overboard books falling <laughs> anyways next we got wanted wed or alive by willow willow aster and laura pavlov and i also won this in a giveaway and i believe it's also signed yep signed by laura pavlov and willow aster so yes it has a signed book plate in there and personalized to amanda so hopefully another Amanda will get enjoyment out of this one. <laughs> I got books falling everywhere. Hold on. All right, next one. This is a prequel called The Mistakes You Make by Tracy Lorraine. Um, there is a series that follows this. However, this is a very short prequel, if you could tell how thin that is. I believe this is also signed by the author, which it is, signed by the author, Tracy Lorraine. Um, however, I'm probably never going to read this, so this is also being given away. The next one we have is Promise Me by Robin Bielman and Samantha, Samantha Beck. And I won this in a giveaway as well. However, I decide I am never going to read it, so I'm going to give that one away. And this is also signed by both authors and personalized to Amanda. So hopefully another Amanda will like this one. And then next one we have is Invictus by Michelle Page and Yolanda Olson. That's what it looks like. And I believe this is also signed by the author. Yep, signed by both authors, right in there. And I decided, even though I won this in the giveaway, I am never going to read it, so we'll give it to somebody who will. Here's the next one, which is Over the Fence by Melanie Moreland. Um, I know she's got some books up on Amazon that are real popular, and I won this in a giveaway. However, I don't think I'm ever going to actually read it physically. And I think this is signed by her as well. Yep, there's a signed book plate right on the inside. So I'm not going to read it, so we're going to give that one away. Then the next one is called Dark Blooded Desires from Bones of Demirius, book one, by Nikki Ruth. I think I won this, I believe, from somewhere. Uh, this one is actually not signed. I think this is just in a big um, giveaway through Goodreads because there was one time I won a whole bunch of books through Goodreads, which I usually never win those things. So this came in like a whole bunch of other books. And in reality, I'm probably never going to read it. So we'll give this one away as well. And then the next one we got is Unchained by Shane Silvers. <clears throat> and I decided not to keep this one since I have the Kindle copy on my Kindle. And this was also one of those books, I believe, that came in one of the uh, Goodreads box that I won. And is it signed? I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not signed, but... I decided in reality I'm not gonna keep it if I decide I want to read it it's on my Kindle so this one's going away and the next one we have is Shadow Walker by Anya J Cosgrove 
and I believe this was also in that Goodreads box. Um, I decided not to keep it because I don't think I'm ever really going to read it. Um, I believe it's a fantasy. Yeah, there's a demon, so I decided not to keep this one, so this one's going bye-bye. And the next one we got is Refined Cadence by Angela K. Parker. Um, I believe I won this from the author. Yep, she signed it and personalized to Amanda. I decided I'm not actually going to keep this one. So hopefully another Amanda will find some enjoyment. So we're giving that one away as well. The next one we have is called Half Truce by Rachel Brownell. I am in her group on Facebook, I believe, and I did win this from her, I think it was. But however, I decided not to keep it since I'm not as interested now as I was then. So that one's going to go away. It is also signed by her and personalized to Amanda. So again, hopefully another Amanda will enjoy it. And the next one we got is Danger, a driven world novel by Logan Chance. The actual driven series is by Kay Bromberg. And some other authors have decided to delve into that universe and also write their own stories based in that world. And I did win this from the author, I believe. And however, I decided I'm not as interested now as I was then. So that one's going to be given away. And it's also signed by the author. So hopefully somebody else will enjoy this one. And then the next two coming up are by the same author, part of a series called A Paradise Cove Story. So it's basically from Paradise Cove, which is, um, I think one's like an extra or something like that. So we have, and she called him Romeo, I believe is the first one. And then the second one is Destination Cove, which is the extra, I believe. And I believe they're also both signed by the author. Her name is Santana Blair. Yep, this one's also signed by the author with a bookmark in it. And I think this one is also signed, Destination Cove. Yep, also signed by the author. So those are going to somebody else. So hopefully they will enjoy it. All right, now we're on to the next stack. So here's what we got. So the first one is called The Lux by Anna Godberson. Um, I know nothing about this. This was given to me by my friend Dana. However, I love you Dana, but I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So hopefully somebody else will enjoy it and I will pass it on. This one was also given to me by Dana. I will link her down below if you're interested in checking out her channel. Her name is Dana Ella, and I hope you will check her out. But this is another one she gave me that, and realistically, I am never actually going to read. But this one's called We'll Fly Away by Brian Bliss. No, absolutely nothing about it. I just like grabbing books from Dana, <laughs> obviously. But hopefully somebody else will get some enjoyment out of that one. The next one is called The Boy Is Back by Meg Cabot. My friend Dana also gave this one to me, and she's a huge Meg Cabot fan, so I'm surprised she was giving it away. However, I loved her um, Princess... What's that movie called again? Princess Diaries, that's it. So I love that series, and I love those movies. And in case you haven't heard, they are working on the third movie, so I'm super excited for that. However, I'm probably never going to read this particular book, so we'll give it to somebody who will. And the next one also came from Dana, The Ones We Choose by Julie Clark. Don't know anything about it. Probably never going to read it, so we're passing that one on. The next one we got is a mother-daughter book club by Heather Vogel Frederick. I thought maybe at one time I might read it. It was also given to me by Dana, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever actually realistically uh, realistically going to actually read it. <laughs> so we are passing that one on. 
Let me get the next few. Yes, 157 books. Can you believe that? That's a lot of books. However, my dad is super proud I'm getting rid of all these books. He's never seen my shelves look this clean ever. <laughs> so shout out to you, Dad. And this one is called Scoop by Renee Gutrich. This was also given to me by Dana that realistically, I am not going to read. I really need to pay more attention to what I'm grabbing from her, which I've said, but yeah. She has a lot of books. She likes to clean out her shelves. And then I love going through all her books and just grabbing them without actually checking them out first. So realistically, I'm not going to read this. So we're passing that one on. The next one is called Never Enough by Roxy Noir. I think I won this one. Might be signed by her. Let me check. Yep, it is signed by the author. Realistically, again, I seem to be using that word a lot. <laughs> I checked this one out and I decided I'm not actually going to read it. So, passing that on. Next one is called Highland Dragon by Gen Genevieve Jack. It's the Treasure of Paragon Book 6. And I don't have any of the other ones, 1 through 5, at all. And then I decided I'm not going to read the series. I don't need this one, so we're giving that one away. And let's see, did I? Oh, yeah. It's also signed by the author, and it has a little postcard in it that's signed to me. So maybe, hopefully, we'll find another Amanda who might be interested. So we're going to pass on that one. And the next one we have is called Back in the Burbs by Tracy Wolf and Avery Flynn. I thought I might read this when I got it because I won it. And after a while, it just sat on my shelves and I never gravitated towards it. Never wanted to actually pick it up. I'm not sure if it's signed by them or not. Let me check. No, it's not signed. Just a copy I won. So I decided after letting it sit on my shelves for so long, I can, don't need it anymore, so we're giving that away. And then next one we got is an art copy that I won called In the Air Tonight by Daphne Abbott. Oh, sorry. It's actually a lot thinner than I thought. And I think it might be signed by her. Let me check. Not the book itself, but she did leave me a card. However, thanks for sending it to me, but in reality, probably not ever actually going to read it. So that's another one going away. Next one we have is called Jax. It's an Ink Fusions series by Penny and Ingleen. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is book one in the series. And after checking it out, I decided I'm probably not ever going to read it. And I don't want it to go to waste, so we're giving that away. It's also signed by her and personalized to Amanda. So maybe, again, another Amanda will find this one and decide to pick it up. So that's that. And I got some more coming, don't you worry. <laughs> And next one we have is called Closing on Love by Mina Cole. It's from the Oak Springs series. This is book one. Um, I'm not sure if, I had a friend that was possibly interested in grabbing this one from me. I can't remember which friend. But if you're watching, come by and pick it up if you want to. Otherwise, it's probably going to the library, so. <laughs> I think it's also signed by the author. Yep, she signed it and personalized it to me. So again, maybe another Amanda will find some enjoyment. And that's it on that one. Yes, we got some more. We got Breaking South by Allison Santos. It's part of a rocker series. However, I decided I am not going to read this. It's and it's also signed by her and personalized to me as well. 
Oops, I think something just fell out of it. I tend to collect swag. I don't know why. But when I do, I usually keep it in the book. Oh, it fell. You know what? I'll just pick it up. <laughs> Sneak that back into the book. So we're giving that one away. Maybe someone will find the swag and decide they want to hold on to that. All right. Next one we got, after the next two, it's part of a series in itself. We got Dr. Ax Sadie, Dr. Accident and Bridget Federal Protection, both by Danielle Norman, and they're part of the same series. However, I don't think they're even the beginning ones. I don't remember. Either way, I decided not to keep them. Are they signed? Yep, this one's uh, Dr. Accident is signed by the author. Let me check if this one is as well. Yep, that one's also signed. So, thank you for signing them for me. And I won them from the author. But real, I don't think I'm ever going to read these. So, we're going to pass those on. And then, next one we have is Holdout by Jacqueline Snow from the Moo Yu series. I don't remember what number in the series it is. But, I decided not to keep it. Let's see, was it signed as well? Yep, it was signed by the author. And I know I won it from her. However, I decided I'm not going to keep it. And I'm going to pass it on to somebody else. Let me get the next few. Alright, next one we got is Be My Hero by Linda Cage, a Forbidden Men novel. I thought it was rather interesting when I won it, and I thought I was going to read it, but I decided not to. And this is also signed by the author. I won it, and I don't think I'm ever going to read it, so we'll say bye-bye to that. The next one we have is called Chase Me by A.D. Award, I believe. I won that, I believe I won this in that Goodreads box that I ended up winning. It was like a whole bunch of fantasies and I just decided not to keep it. After all this time, it has been a while and it was just sitting on my shelf and I'm never going to read it. So we're passing that one on. Then next one we have is Double Sided Magic by Mackenzie Hunter. This is the number one in the series, which I also won in that Goodreads box. I am never going to read it. <laughs> I need to clean off my shelves anyways, so we are passing the torch on this one. Next one we have is True North by Aria White. Wyatt? Yeah, Aria Wyatt. I believe it is number one in a series. And I think I won this from her as well. Yep, and she signed it and personalized it to me. So hopefully another Amanda will find some enjoyment out of this one. Me, I decided not to keep this. So we're passing that one on. Next one we have is get rid of that. Uh, we have Silent Night by Danielle Steele. I bought this at Target and I did read it. I did enjoy the story. However, after being on my shelves for a while, I decided I'm not going to reread it again. As much as I like her books, I've read quite a few from this author and I do like her writing. I think I like her historical books more than I do her contemporary. And I decided not to keep this one. So we're passing this one on to somebody who will enjoy it. And then let's, let me grab some more for you. This one is something I think, yep, I won it from the author. I decided not to keep it. It's called Racing Dirty LA by J. Lynn Lombard. And it's signed and personalized to me. 
but I decided I didn't really want to keep this one after having it been on my shelves for so long and so we are passing it on to somebody else and then the next one we have is Ryan's Kiss by Mel Walker I don't know anything about it I know it's the first one in the series because it says book one right here and I think I won this and it's also signed by the author so I decided to give this one a pass and we'll give that one to somebody else next one we got is stirred by Charity Farrell um, it is also signed by the author I decided not to keep this one since it's been on my shelves for a while and I just wasn't gravitating towards it so I'm gonna let this one go then the next one we got is called off track by Shell Sloan I loved the first couple I think it was I think there was one or two before this one I can't remember but um, I did enjoy the first in the series and I really really liked it and so in order to win this one I had to submit a review since I already read the book I decided to submit my review on it and I won the copy the paperback copy and she definitely personalized and signed it to me and since I already read it and reviewed it I decided as much as I liked it I decided not to keep this one since I don't think I'm gonna reread it again so we're gonna let this one go and then let's let me get the rest of these from this big stack we got some heavy books over here <laughs> so the next one is called worth the risk by Shannon Davis I won this from the author it's a southern fairy tale which it says if you can see that right up top and it was signed and personalized to me by the author I ended up deciding I'm probably not going to read this even though it was really nice of her to send it after winning it <clears throat> so I decided to let this one go then the next one we got is called you Laura by Lisa Bow. I don't really know anything about it except I do remember winning it from the author and she lives in I think in Australia the author so it took a while for me to get it after winning it did she sign it mm, maybe not I don't think she signed it but I decided after it being on my shelves for a while I am not going to keep it so we are giving this one away the next one we have is the weekend I think it's like a little novella of some kind Crescent City series book one so I guess it's a different Crescent City not the Sarah J Maas one obviously this one's by CJ Corbin it says at the top it was signed by the author you can see that little sticker mm. yep she signed and personalized it to me so I decided not to keep this one and we will find another Amanda that will hopefully enjoy it and the next one I have is called perfect assumption by Tracy Gerald it's from the Midas series I can't remember if this is book one or book two but she did personalize it and sign it to me after winning it and I decided that after it being on my shelves for a while I decided I'm not going to read it so we are passing that on and then the next one we have is called Cadence by Dakota Willink I think it is it's actually two books in one so it's kind of like a series in one big bind up and I decided after I think I purchased this through her website and it was like a good deal at the time however I decided not to keep it so we are going to pass this one 
the next one we have is called Captain by DM Davis. It is book three in the series and I don't even have the first two, but I did win it. So I won a lot of giveaways on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> she did sign it and personalize it to me. So I decided instead of keeping it, I'm going to pass it on to hopefully another Amanda that will enjoy it since it's signed to Amanda in the book. So we are passing that one on. So we have another Meg Cabot book, The Mediator. This came from my friend Dana and love you Dana. I love The Princess Diaries and I thought I might read this but I think I read this when I was younger but I decided not to keep it and make room for other books so we are letting this one go. Next one we have is Brutal Blue Blood by Becker Gray. I won this in a giveaway. Um, I think it's signed. Yep, it's signed by the author. But it is book three in a series, like it says right here. And I don't even own the first two. So it'd be silly to keep this one. I haven't even read the first two. So I decided to give this one away. Next one we got is an autographed copy of The First Rule of Hookups, which is a Brick of Bash series by Nina Crespo. I won this in a giveaway and I decided not to keep it. It was personalized and signed to me by the author. Hopefully, again, another Amanda will enjoy it. The next one we have is Bad Luck Club by A.R. Casella and Denise Grover Swank. I actually somehow managed to win two copies of this. I'm not sure how. I gave one, the first copy, away somewhere else previously when I first got my second copy. And after finding out this is not even the first in the series, but a little bit farther down the line in the series, I decided I am not going to keep it. So maybe we'll find somebody who will. And it is signed by both authors as well. So we are passing this one on. Next one we have is called Paper Dreams by KJ Lewis. I believe I won this from the author as well. Yep, it is signed and personalized to me. Um, hopefully, again, another Amanda will enjoy this. I decided not to. And next one we have is L.A. Candy by Lauren Conrad. I thought this might be interesting when I got it from my friend Dana, but I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So instead of, of laying it say on my shelf, I decided to give this one away. All right, so we got some more coming for you. Next one we got is called Heist Society by Allie Carter. Also came from my friend Dana. Um, I decided not to keep it after looking at the synopsis. I have so many other books I need to read besides that are already on my shelves. So instead of letting this one collect dust, I'll give it to somebody who will enjoy it. Then the next one is called Reunited by Hilary Wiseman Graham. This is another one from my friend Dana, but after looking at all my books, I decided I'm probably never going to read this, so decided to give this away. And the next one we got is called Chaser by Charity Farrell. It was part of the other series. It was part of that series from the other book that I showed you from her as well. I think I won this from her as well. Yep, I did, but this is also signed by her, by the author. I am not going to keep the series, so we will give this one to somebody who will enjoy it. And then the next one we got, it's a pretty good sized book, it's called Mind to Protect by Kennedy L. Mitchell. And I believe I won this as well. Yep, it was also personalized and signed to me by the author. I decided with all the books that I've got, I'm probably never going to get to this one, so we will send it to somebody 
maybe another Amanda who will enjoy this. So we are moving that on. And next one we got, it's called Naturally Yours by Mallory Funk. I think it's signed. Let me check. Yep, it is signed and personalized to me. All right, next one we have is called More Jade by Laura Pavlov. I, this is a rock star romance. I believe it's also part of a series, but I decided not to keep this one. I think it's signed by her though. Let me check. Yep, it's signed and personalized to me. So again, maybe we'll find another Amanda that will enjoy this one. Next one we got is called Lucky Bastard by Kaylee Ryan. I read one of her books before and enjoyed it, but, and I know I won this one in a giveaway. It might be signed, let me check. Yep, signed and personalized by the author. However, I decided I did not really want to read this one, so I will send this on to another Amanda who might enjoy it. Next one we caught is called Seducing My Valentine by Christina Allen. I read one of her other books that's more of a fantasy, which I enjoyed, and then I ended up winning this from this author and thought I might end up trying it out. Oop, it's my bad. There's swag in this book. Don't want to let that all fall. It is signed by the author and personalized to me. So we're passing that one on. Next one we got is called Scorch by Misty Malloy. I don't remember if this one is signed or not. Let me check. Yep. Signed and personalized to me by the author. I decided not to keep this one. So we are passing that on. Next one we got is called The Chosen by Haim Potok. I think that's how you pronounce it at least. This was given to me by a friend. Um, her name's Kim. This I was going to read it. Then I ended up never reading it. And instead of letting it sit on my shelves, maybe I'll send this one to somebody who will enjoy it. Since I don't think I'm ever going to get to this one. So we will let this one go to somebody different. The next one we got is called Cruel Obsession by J.L. Beck and C. Hallman. That's what it looks like. And I think it's a sign. Yep. Signed by both authors. And I'm probably never going to read this one, so we are passing that on. So the next one we have is called Stay With Me by Leah Call. I believe I won this as well from the author. Yep, because she signed it and personalized it to me. Then the next one we got is called Swinging Strike by Kimberly Reidenauer. It's part of a series, and I don't think I'm all that interested in reading it. It's basically a sports romance. There's a base, this guy's a baseball captain, but I decided not to actually keep this one because I don't think I'm ever physically going to read it. However, it is signed by the author and personalized to me. It's up in the corner here. Then the next one we got is called His On Demand by Fiona Murphy. I believe, yep, yeah, this is a billionaire romance. And I think I won this one. Yes, because it is signed by the author and personalized to me. I decided not to read it. So we'll pass that one on. And then next one we have is called His Dirty Demands, also by Fiona Murphy. So I think I might have won this one and the one before in the same giveaway. Also personalized. And next one we have is called The Beat Mash by Kelly Siskin. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. It is, I believe, the first in the series. It is also signed and personalized by the author to me. I seem to have a lot of those. <laughs> but I decided to give this one up. And the stack's going to fall over. <laughs> so I might need to start a new one. All right, and this next one's called My Kind of Perfect by Tracy Brogan. Don't really know anything about it. Um, I'm not even, don't remember where I even got it from. Oh, well it's signed by the author, so I must have won it somehow. 
<laughs> I just don't remember. So the next one we have is called Marked by Eva Winners. It is a Russian mafia romance. I believe I won this. It is book one in the series. And yeah, I think she's mailed it to me from Amazon. So from the author, I decided I probably am not going to read it. So we will give it to somebody who will. And this next one we have is called Bullet by Nikki Sparks. It's from the Suicide Kings MC series. I do like motorcycle club books. However, I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. It is signed and personalized to me by the author. Then the next one we got is called Ruling the Princess by Christy Barth. I believe this is also part of a series. And did she sign this? Let me check. Yep, she did. She signed it and personalized it to me because I don't think I'm ever actually going to pick this one up. So we'll let somebody else enjoy it. Next one we have is called Sir Loin of Beef from the Beefcake series by Vanessa Vale. Um, I don't remember where I got this one from. I think I won it. Let me check. Yep, I also won it because it's signed by the author. But in reality, don't think I'm going to read it, so we will give it to somebody else who will. Next one we have is called Releasing the Demons by L.D. Rose. I can't remember if I won this from the author. Yep, I think I won it from the author because as soon as I open it, it is signed and personalized to me from the author. So I am decided not to keep this one. The next one we have is called Vow of Atonement from the Vow series by Emma Renshaw. I think I won this one as well. Yep, because it's also signed and personalized to me from the author. The next one we have is called Arrogant Playboy by Sloane Howell and Alex Wolf. It's from the Cocky Suits series. There's a, I think, camera is from these particular authors or from a series. I, I know it's part of a series. I just can't remember if it's, if the series is from these authors or if it's a collection from other authors can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's signed by them. Let me check. Because I did get, I think, some kind of sticker with their, where they signed the sticker. So hopefully, maybe somebody else will enjoy this one. I decided not to keep it. So this next one came from my friend Dana as well. It's called Sleepless in Manhattan by Sarah Morgan. I decided not to keep this one. I already have a lot on my shelves and I need to get through those. So I decided to give this one away, see if somebody else will enjoy it. And then the next one we have is called Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. I know some kind of contemporary story. It also came from my friend Dana. However, I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So I will let somebody else enjoy it. So we will pass that one on. And the next one we have is called Beneath the Stars by A.L. Jackson. It is part of a series. I did read the first, I think, I can't remember if I read the first two or three, but I did win this in a giveaway. Next one we have is called All the Little Secrets by S.J. Silvis. I think I won this one as well. Yep, because it's also signed by the author right here. So we'll find somebody else to hopefully enjoy this one. And I know I showed you an Allie Carter book before, but there's two more in that same series that I'm also giving away. This one is Uncommon Criminals and we have Perfect Scoundrels. So I decided not to keep the series and let somebody else enjoy them. They came from my friend Dana and I love Dana dearly and Thank you, Dana, but I think I'm going to let these ones go to somebody else and hopefully somebody else will enjoy. And I need to find more places for stuff. <laughs> um, next few coming up. So next one we have, oops, I dropped the book. <laughs> So the next one is also from my friend Dana. It's called Don't You Forget About Me by 
Mary McFarlane. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't really know much about this, but I know it came from Dana. However, I don't think I'm ever going to get to it, so we will let somebody else enjoy. And the next one we have is called Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. I decided after checking out my shelves, as much as it sounds interesting, I don't think I'm actually going to read it, so we will give it to somebody who will. And then the next one we have is called The uh, Earth, My Butt, and Other Big Round Things by Carolyn Mackler. It's a very funny title. Also came from my friend Dana. But as much as it's, as it's a funny title, I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we will pass on to somebody who will. The next one we have is called Three Truths and a Lie by Brent Hartinger. Don't really know much about it. However, it did come from my friend Dana, and I don't think I'm actually going to pick this one up. So we will give it to somebody who might enjoy it. Then the next one, I know so many people love this author right now. She is all over booktube. However, I have also heard things about the author that weren't so kind, and I don't think I'm ever actually gonna read the series because I'm not really much into college romances. Um, this one's called The Deal by Elle Kennedy. I've heard all kinds of things about her on TikTok and I know a lot of people are loving this series right now because there's a new one that just came out called The Legacy. But for me, it's just, I don't think it's my kind of uh, story. So we're gonna give this one to somebody who might enjoy it more instead of me keeping it, so. That's what's gonna happen with that one. Next one we have is called Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I know nothing about this, but it did come from my friend Dana and don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we will hand it off to somebody who might instead. And the next one we have is called No Bones About It by B. Williams and J.J. White. I won this in a giveaway, and I think it's signed by the author. Yep, signed and personalized to me. However, as much as it sounds interesting, I don't think we're actually going to pick it up. The next one we have is called Founded on Deception by Kat Singleton. It is book three in a series, and I think it's signed by her as well. Yep, it is signed and personalized to me. I don't even have the first two, and I haven't read the first two. So, don't think I'm ever gonna actually get to this one. So we will pass it on to hopefully another Amanda will decide to pick it up and try it. Next one we have is called Dangerous Deception from Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. It's from the Beautiful Creature series. However, I already own a copy of this in paperback. This is a hardcover. So I don't really need two copies of it. I think I bought them on Amazon. And then I realized that I already had it and didn't realize it at the time. So I don't need both copies. So I'm going to give this hardback away and keep the paperback since all the other ones I have are in paperback form. Then the next one was I also won from a giveaway. It is Fallen, the Fallen Crest series by Tijan. But this is the extra, so it's like bonus stuff from the series. However, I've never actually read the series, so I don't really need the bonus stuff as much because I've never actually read it. However, it is signed and personalized to me by the author. Don't know if you can see that, it's kind of small writing. The next one we have is an absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. I've heard some people on booktube actually like this book, but I decided I'm not as interested in it myself so instead of me keeping it, I'm gonna give it to somebody who might want to pick it up. It came from my friend Dana, but I decided not to keep this one for myself, so we will give that to somebody else. Next one we have is the Holy Bible. <laughs> I don't even know why I have this. Um, I am actually Jewish, but I was at a church for something, I can't remember why, and I, was, somebody gave it to me while I was there. So I just took it home and in reality, I don't really need the Bible. So I will pass it off 
to either the library or somebody who will want it. So we're going to get rid of the Bible and give it to somebody who wants it and read it or whatever they want to do with it. <laughs> the next one we have is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Um, I am giving away one of her other books that I've already shown you, but and I don't think I'm ever actually going to pick this up and read it. So we are going to give it to the next person. It came from my friend Dana, but thank you, Dana. But I don't think I'm actually going to pick this up. So we are going to give it to somebody else. Next one also came from my friend Dana. It is called The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Drannen. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know anything about this at all. And I don't think I'm ever actually going to be interested in picking it up. So we are giving that one away as well. Next one we have is also from my friend Dana. It's called How to Keep a Secret by Sarah Morgan. Um, I don't know anything about this one either, except that it came from Dana. And in reality, don't think I'm ever actually going to pick this up. So we are going to pass that to somebody different. All right, next one is going to be Where the Card Is Saying by Delia Owens. I did read this. I gave it three stars. There was way too much description, not enough action. Then the movie came out. And so I went to go see the movie and I love the movie way better than the book, in my opinion. I bought the movie when it came out on DVD. However, I wasn't really interested in keeping this book because I gave it three stars and I don't think I'm ever going to pick it up again because there was a lot of description in this book and I don't think I'm going to want to go through that again. <laughs> So we will pass this off to somebody else. The next one we have is called Falling. It's a love story by Jane Green. Don't know anything about it because that is a love story. Because <laughs> it says right here on the cover. Um, also came from my friend Dana, but I don't think I'm ever actually going to pick this one up. So we are going to give it to somebody else that might be interested. Next one we have is called Motormouth, a Barnaby novel by Janet Ivanovic came from my friend Wendy however thank you for giving it to me Wendy but I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it I have read I think the first one in her Stephanie Plum's series and she is a decent author I just don't think I'm ever going to read another one of her books so we are going to pass this off to somebody else that might want to read it Next one we have is called The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. Don't know anything about this one either, but I know it came from my friend Dana. And don't think I'm ever actually going to pick it up and read it. So we are going to pass it on to somebody who might. And then, next one we have is called Running Hot, an arcane society novel by Jane Ann Krentz. I know this is a big series by this author came from my friend Wendy and I love Wendy however I don't think I'm ever going to actually read it so we are going to give it to somebody who might that stack yes there are a lot of books 157 of them so the next couple are from when in my dining room in my community they were giving out like a whole box of like different books to choose from that they were just giving away randomly so i grabbed a few thinking i might read them after holding on to them for quite a while i decided not to keep them after all so the first one is the boy by tammy hogue i have read one a couple of hers before i think i read dust to dust and really enjoyed that and then I found out it was the second in the series, and I didn't even read the first one. But I don't think I'm ever actually going to read this. So instead of keeping it, I'm going to see or find somebody who might want to take this one off my hands. And the next one we have is also from that bunch of books that I got from the dining room downstairs. So that one's called Chasing the Night by Iris Johansson. I have heard of this author and heard that she's really good. However, I don't think I'm ever going to read it. So instead of keeping it, I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who might wanna read it. Next one we have is called Her Guard Hero by Caitlin O'Leary. 
It is book five of the Black Dawn series. And I, I did win this from the author. She signed it and personalized it to me. However, I've never read any of the first four of the series and I don't think I'm ever going to. And since it's book five, I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we are going to give it to somebody who might. And next one we have is called The Savage Wild by Roxy Noir. I think it's signed by her as well. Yep, it's signed and personalized to me. I won this in the giveaway, but I'm probably never going to read it. Next one we have is called Fiona and Jane by Jean Shen Ho. At least I think that's how you say that. And this is um, a book that came from my friend Dana. Um, it's one of those Book of the Month Club books that I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, but I'm probably not going to read it. And my friend Dana said she read it and she wasn't crazy about it either. But maybe we're just not that target audience. Maybe if I pass it on to somebody else who might possibly enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do with that one. So the next one we have is called The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. Um, another one from my friend Dana. It's also one another one of those Book of the Month Club books. Like it shows you in the corner. It did, it did intrigue me when Dana gave it to me. But I don't think I'm ever actually going to grab it and read it. So I'm going to pass that on to somebody who might. Next one we have is called The Golden Child by Claire Adam. Also another one of those Book of the Month Club books. But I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. That also came from my friend Dana. Thank you, Dana, but I think I might pass it to somebody else that might enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do with that one. Next one we have is called Romancing His Heart by Avery Maxwell. I believe this is in the series. It's, yep, the Broken Heart series. It looks like it says number four in the corner. So it's the fourth in the series. And I think I won this. Yep, I did win it because it's signed by the author and personalized to me. However, I've never even read the first three, and I don't think I'm ever actually going to. As much as it was fun it was winning it, probably not going to get to this one. Next one we have is called Sorted by Ava Harrison. It's got some swag in here. Um, I also won this. I think it's also signed by the author. Yep, it is signed by the author. And... I didn't realize I already read this until I looked it up on Goodreads and realized I already rated it. So, since I already read it, I mean, I did like it, but I don't think I really need a physical copy of it. So we are going to pass this one on to somebody else. The next one we have is called Crazy Sexy Love by K.L. Grayson. I think I won this one as well. I have because it's also signed by the author. However, I don't think I'm ever actually going to pick it up and read it. So we are going to give it to somebody else and let them take a crack at it. Next one we have is called Deadly Pursuit by Stephanie St. Clair. From, it's a Keeper's novel. It's from a series. I don't remember which one this, what number this one is in the series. This is sitting on the cover. However, it is signed by the author. And... I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we are going to pass this one on to somebody else who might. The next one we got is called Guarded by Rachel Lee from the Everyday Heroes. It's a pretty short book. I think I won this. Let me check. Yep, it is signed by the author and personalized to me, so I must have won it. I don't think I'm ever actually going to read it though, so we are going to pass this on, hopefully to find another Amanda that might enjoy it. And then next one we have is called Beautifully Damaged by Laura Pavlov. I don't think I'm ever actually going to read this one either. Um, oh, I guess it's book one in the series. It's signed by the author and personalized to me right here. But I'm probably never going to actually pick this one up and read it. So we are going to pass it on to somebody who might. And the next one we have is called Royal Playboy by Nana Malone. 
I have read a few of hers before, but they were all Kindle books and I liked it and I ended up winning this one, I believe. Yep, it's also signed by the author. You can see that. However, I don't think I'm gonna actually read it. As much as I like some of her books, I don't really think I'm gonna ever pick it up off my shelf. So we are going to hand this one off to somebody who might enjoy it. The next one we have is called A Favor for a Favor by Helena Hunting. Huh, this bookmark almost fell out at me. This is the second in a series. The first one that I believe is called A Lie for a Lie. And I won this one. I think she signed it. Let me check. Yep, she signed it right here on that page. And since I haven't really actually read the first one, I don't think I'm going to end up reading this. So we are going to pass it on and hopefully somebody else will enjoy it. And next one we have is called Runaway Road by Devney Perry. Um, I won this one, I believe, as well. I think it's signed by her. Yep, signed by the author right there on that first page. And after looking at all my books and my shelves, I decided I'm probably not going to read this one, so I figured we'll give it away to somebody who might. And this one we have is called The Evolution of Us by D. Kelly. I think I won this one as well. Yep, because it's signed by the author and personalized to me. After looking at all my books, I am most likely not going to pick this one up and read it. So we are going to pass it to hopefully another Amanda who might. Alright, the next one we have is called Beautiful March by Christy Pastor. I think, I, I know I won this. Yeah, I won it. Because she also signed it and personalized to me. However, even though I won it, I'm probably not actually going to read it. Next one we got is The Resurrection of Dylan McAfee by Nancy Kane. And I think I won this one as well. Yep, because she also signed it and personalized it to me in this bottom corner. But after looking at all my books, I don't think I'm ever actually going to physically read it. And then the next one I'm getting rid of is called Serenity by D Diane Lane. I think that's how you pronounce that. I won this one as well. And she also signed it on this page right here. However, I don't think I'm actually going to pick this one up and read it. So we are going to pass this one on and find somebody else who might enjoy it. The next one we have is called Landing Eagle by Harley Stone from the Dead Presidents MC series. Um, after checking out the synopsis of it, real, I don't think I'm ever actually going to pick it up and read it. So I did I win this one? I think I did. Yep, it's signed by the author and personalized to me. The next one we have, actually the next two we have, they're both, it's like a duo type series. So we have The Edge of Temptation and The Edge of Forever by Jay Salmon. I believe I got, I won these off of some kind of auction. Um, she was giving away books on there that was part of this deal, this auction thing that goes on every year. And I won them from the auction. I was like the highest bidder on that. So I happened to get those from her and they are also signed by the author. That one and this one, I think. Yep, they're both signed. And the next one we have is Eye of the Ninja by D.M. Marlowe. Um, I think this was one of the books that I won in that Goodreads box that I told you guys about. However, not going to read it, so we are going to pass it off to somebody who might. The next one we have is called Losing Memphis by Hannah Gray. It is book three in a series. And, yep, and it's signed by the author right in there. But I never actually read the first two, and I don't think I'm going to. So, since this is book three, I might as well give to somebody who's read the first two and wants this one. So that's what we're going to do with that. The next one we have is called The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. 
It says the same author that wrote the Twilight series and the host. And I did start reading this. I think there's still a bookmark in here. It's been way too long since it has been on my shelves. And after realizing that I've read as much as I have, I'm never going to go back to this. <laughs> I enjoy the Twilight series. I enjoy the host. This one, I'm not sure if I really wanted to keep this. So after it took me some time to figure out what to do with this one, but in the end, I decided to give this one away. So Stephanie Meyer, we're going to say goodbye to the compass. <laughs> and the next three coming up are also from the box where I picked up some books from downstairs where they were giving books away. So this one is The Cliff House by Ray Ann Thane. Don't know anything about it except I decided to grab it, but decided not to read this one. So we are going to give this one to somebody who will. And the next one we have is Lake of Destiny by Martina Boone. Picked this one up from downstairs as well, but after holding on to this for as long as I have, I decided not to keep it. So we're going to give this one away as well. The next one we have is called Bellwether by Susanna Kearsley. Don't know anything about this one. I think something about a French Canadian lieutenant. But, um, yeah. So we are giving this one away as well. This next one was given to me by somebody. I cannot remember for the life of me who. But it's a book about essential oils. It's like some kind of pocket reference for essential oils. Um, I don't even know why I have it. <laughs> but you, we're going to pass this one to somebody who might be interested in checking this one out. So that's what we're going to do with that one. Next one we have is called God's Fool by Mark Sluka. I think that's how you pronounce that. Don't know anything about it. It was given to me by my friend Dana. But never going to read it. <laughs> I have a lot of those never going to read it. But <laughs> this is going to be one of them. And we are going to pass this to somebody who might. Alright, the next one we have is A Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. I was given this by my friend Dana as well. And I do have one of hers on my shelf at the moment, I think. But I wasn't really interested after reading the synopsis on it. I mean, I could since the main character's name is also my middle name. But I decided not to keep this one, so we are giving this one away. Next one we have is called Nobody Knows My Name by James Baldwin. Um... I know nothing about what this one is, but after looking at the back of it, something about essays on topics about stuff. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of essays. I don't even know why I have this one. I think I got this one from my friend Dana as well. But I'm not really into essays. So we are going to pass this one on to somebody else who might enjoy that. And the next one we have is called Adequately Yearly Progress by Roxana Eldon. Don't know anything about it except that it's, I think it's some kind of high school setting story. But this was, I'm not that interested after all. It was given to me by my friend Dana as well. And don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we are going to pass this one on to somebody who might. The next one we have is also from my friend Dana. It's called The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Um, all I know that is a contemporary story. That's really all I know. Don't know anything about it. Um, so probably not going to keep this one. Doesn't really sound as interesting to me as I thought originally. So hopefully someone else will enjoy it. The next one we have is called Top 10 Clues, You're Clueless by Liz Zukas. I think that's how you pronounce that. This was also given to me by my friend Dana. But, don't think I'm ever actually going to read it. So we are going to give it to somebody who might. Next one we have is called Everything Beautiful Is Not Ruined by Danielle Young Ullman. I think that's what it says. I know nothing about it, except that it was given to me by my friend Dana. 
a lot of these were given, given to me by her. <laughs> But I decided not to keep this one. I already have so many books on my shelves I need to read, so this will go on to somebody else. So the next one we have is Mrs. Everything by Jennifer Weiner. I have read a few of her books before and enjoyed it, but don't think I'm ever actually going to read this one. So we are going to give this one a pass and give it to somebody else who might want to read it. The next one we have is called Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. I think that's how you pronounce it. Another one of those Book of the Month Club books um, that came from my friend Dana. But I decided I'm probably not going to read this one, so we will send it on to somebody who might. Next one we have is Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. Another book of the month club book. I am interested in her one of her other books called The Hotel in Nantucket, but I haven't gotten that one yet. But I don't think I'm going to be reading this one, so we are going to pass this one on to somebody else. And then the next one we have is Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. Another book of the month club book from my friend Dana. But I decided not to keep this one probably won't end up picking this one up, so I will send it on to somebody else who might. And look at this. We are down to the very last bit. It's been a blast, hasn't it? <laughs> but here we go. This is the last of it. Can you believe that? That was a lot of books. All right, so the next one is called Lovely War by Julie Berry. Also give it to me by my friend Dana, but as interesting as it sounds, I'm probably not ever going to end up picking it up. So we are going to give a pass on this one and hand it over to somebody else. Next one we have is a complete book of essential oils and aromatherapy. This also came with that essential oils pocket reference book that was given to me. I have no clue and I don't even remember who gave it to me, but I ha don't really need this. Don't think I'm going to do anything with it. So we are going to hand this one over to somebody who might. I'll put it over here. <laughs> then these last books that I have here actually came from an old job coach that I used to kind of work with. and. I don't know if I'll see her again because she no longer works here. So I don't know what else to do with these books except to give them away. They're all written in like letter formats, like like flip, like you open it up and then there's like a postcard or a letter um, in the books. But they're all like, let's see, this is number one. So this is Griffin and Sabine, uh, An Extraordinary Correspondence by Nick Bantock. So it's like a series, there's a whole, there's like, let's see, how many are there? One, so there's like a total of five of these all together. And I don't know what else to do with them since I don't think I'm going to see her again and give them back to her. So we're going to hand them over to somebody who might be interested in these books. And finally, that is the last of my 157 books that I'm unhauling. <laughs> that was a lot, wasn't it? Well, hopefully, you know, we will find some way to put all these books and hand them off to either the library or any other friends that might be interested. So we'll see what we're going to do. <laughs> but thank you for coming to my channel. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. If you would like to hit that subscribe button down below, I would love it if you would keep up with me in the rest of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.